Health Hack NI is about bringing healthcare professionals, technologists and business people together to collaborate in an informal environment. I hope that we will help technology professionals develop a deeper understanding of the challenges that um, face healthcare today. I saw so this as an opportunity to take some time out to focus on innovation and try to see if I could take some ideas forward uh, with, with a lot of support from, from the guys around me. The whole, the whole design of the two days was based around trying to get some innovation and ideas on the table. Uh, we've been focusing very much on trying to balance between the healthcare needs and making better health products and also looking at uh, how we can do things more efficiently so productivity is quite a, a high on the agenda within the health service and using uh, ideas to actually get better value for things that are being done. As, as a designer I make tools mostly for my own industry um, and I wanted to come here today and learn a bit more about you know the medical industry, the problems that they face, um, and ways that you know I could use my skills to maybe help out. Speaking to one of the doctors here, it was clear that um, the GPs have a real problem, real communication issue, where when a patient comes to them and they can't immediately diagnose, you know, uh, the problem. There's 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 a couple of. There's a couple of options at hand. It's uh, refer that refer that patient, or spend a lot of time and money uh, looking for a solution to, to their problem. If doctors can get the information they need about a patient or a symptom or disease or whatever um, at the time when they're trying to diagnose a patient, um, it's going to save time in making a diagnosis. It's going to allow them to make a better call and move on to the next thing. Move on to them, ultimately be more efficient, more effective and you know patients aren't going to be sitting around in A&E departments needlessly. And A uh, really good, uh, good insight into what life is like. You know, in the medicine world, a lot of softwares come out in medicine now, so we kind of get to see what sort of problems they face and how they want to you know, deal with those problems and the solutions that we have. You can try and provide it. Our our solution is a, a chemist system that will allow chemists to manage patients and their medicines. They'll get rid of prescriptions altogether, so GP will give the patient a digital copy of their prescription and then they'll be able to go to the chemist and basically get a QR code scanned and the chemist will be able to pick up their prescriptions or see their past prescriptions and manage their patient data digitally rather than hard copies and paper. We're dealing directly with a pharmacist, Nicola, and she's found a lot of benefits. She said there's a lot of cash benefits, savings that it'll make, obviously the paper benefit economically, but it'll help a lot of people manage their medicine themselves rather than relying on the doctor. <laughs> solution we have so we are looking at the local based uh, directory of services uh, basically anybody with issues which could lead to mental health so we're trying to be proactive so any issues leading to mental health uh, such as drugs and alcohol so it's looking at uh, producing a local based directory of services that when you click on the app uh, your location is being actually located and then you get all the uh, organization within a 5-10 mile radius around you dealing with the issue you'll be looking at. So if you're looking at drugs and alcohol, it's going to give you only those with links.